Hello and welcome to the how-to video on how to view your Extreme Campus Controller and manage devices with Extreme Cloud IQ. With Extreme Campus Controller introduced in version 50602, you can view your on-premise controller, its associated access points and clients in the cloud, making use of Extreme Cloud IQ dashboards. Extreme Cloud IQ offers visibility into the operational state of managed APs and attached clients, recognition and representation of appliances, and cloud representation for supported APs. In this video, we will show you how to configure the Extreme Campus Controller to integrate with Extreme Cloud IQ. To do this, you will need an Extreme Cloud IQ account. This can be a free Connect account or a subscription license and an Extreme Campus Controller version 50602 installation. The following device types are supported. The SA201 Defender Adapter, the AP3900 series, and the set of Extreme Wireless Wi-Fi 6 access points. Let's get started. To get a free Extreme Cloud IQ account, go to extremecloudiq.com and register for an account. Once you have your account, you can view your assigned regional data center in the browser address bar or from About Extreme Cloud IQ. On Extreme Campus Controller, go to Admin, System Settings, scroll down to Cloud Visibility and enable the cloud visibility setting. The MAC address and serial number for the Extreme Campus Controller are displayed. These values are required as part of the onboarding registration of the appliance in Extreme Cloud IQ. The controller serial number is also the locking ID for the controller. Provide the fully qualified host name of the Extreme Cloud IQ server, that is the regional data center Dash CW refers to a campus controller. Dot Extreme Cloud IQ. Select Save. Go to your Extreme Cloud IQ account. Add the appliance using the Quick Add method. Provide the MAC address and serial number that was displayed on your controller. Go to Manage Devices Add. Select Quick Add Devices. From the Device Make field, select Controllers, then enter the serial number and MAC address from the Extreme Campus Controller. From the Devices list, you will find the controller and devices that you just added. They are considered active when the icon turns green. Right now, this can take up to 30 minutes. This will be improved in a future release. Once the icon turns green, the cloud is actively communicating with the on-premise appliance. You can view the access points and adapters associated with the on-premise appliance. Among other things, for an AP, you can view connection status, firmware version, client count, and uptime. Select each AP to view information specific to that AP. For example, memory usage and client count. From the clients list, client information includes VLAN, SSID, and connected AP. Select a client to view details about that specific client. For more information about Extreme Campus Controller, go to extremenetworks.com documentation Extreme Campus Controller.